How's it going, everybody? My name is Solston, and welcome to Eisenholm. Little series I'm going to be doing here, just a gameplay series in between the Temporal Institute episodes, because they're fairly editing intensive, a lot of research based. I don't want to get things wrong. And we're just going to be playing in a world here, making. Ooh, ruins. Making a lot of. I mean, honestly, builds that are of the nature of that other block game, I am sorry, right away we get an Age Torch Holder. Day one Age Torch Holder, let's go. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna remember this this spot right here. That, I didn't even notice that. So when I spawned in, um, I did... Boost me over your garden, but... So, going to be building a lot of large-scale <laughs> builds. My plan, as I was hunting through various seeds, trying to find something that was good, I started off with a lot of conglomerate over here, which is kind of what I want to build with predominantly for a very particular plan I have for over yonder. Now, you can't tell me that is not something picturesque. Let, let's let's uh, pick up a couple more pieces of flint. We got quartz. That's great for later. Thank you, rooster. It is breakfast. But over there, we've got ourselves a beautiful area. Some rolling hills. Probably going to get flattened out a little bit. And this big old mountain here. A little bit of ice on the top. It wraps around a good way. And uh, there's a little... Yes, chickens. Thank you. Little land bridge over there. Ooh, food. And so I'm definitely, uh, definitely gonna be building a nice big castle. Probably either built partially into the mountain or along around it. And then going to create a uh, kind of like a fantasy medieval town surrounding it. And possibly other things, depending on what. Uh, what people like to see. If you have suggestions for other ideas, just, uh, you know, post them. Put them down in them comments down below. Uh, I ran past a bunch of bushes that uh, probably will have leaves. And not leaves, sticks. Leafy bushes that will have sticks. I need sticks. So I do have a few mods on with this uh, series here. Because of the scale of building, I have increased the tree growth time to uh, half speed. So instead of the normal one time speed, we're going to have ourselves a little bit faster growing trees. And I also put the Plenty of Seeds mod on there. I don't know if I'll keep that on, depending on how overly plentiful our seed production is. But just because of the sheer volume of wood that I'm going to need, I kind of wanted to not have to grind for days off camera. My inventory is almost full. I am not used to not having much inventory space. Uh, let's just fuck these. We don't need those stones. Let's get ourselves some cattails, get some baskets going, and uh, get on over yonder and start setting up our little home. Now, for those of you not familiar with Vintage Story, gathering uh, cattails, or if you're down in the south, papyrus, is one of the first things you're going to want to do after making a knife. Uh, this isn't going to be so much of a tutorial series, that's kind of the domain of the Temporal Institute. But once in a while, I'll explain what I'm doing. So we're going to get about 40 cattails here. And these can be woven into little hand baskets, and that's going to be our first little bit of inventory as wrong button. We have no inventory space. Just the 10 slots on our hotbar here, plus an offhand for, like, torches. But this is where storage goes down here, and we're, uh, we're going to do it. We're going to have a good time. Now, I am collecting the roots, not for eating, but for replanting when we head over across the pond here. Because having them closer to home and relocating them for easy harvesting later on when we need more, that's that's just going to save us time in the future. And we'll have a little headache now to save ourselves a headache later. Uh, 
And there we go. 40 of each. Perfect. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to make ourselves some baskets. There we go. Perfect. Now we have ourselves 12 inventory slots. And now storage isn't so big of a deal. Ah, but food definitely will be. So let's grab ourselves a few more berries here and go about our day. Got on over to the side of the water that we want to be on. These are empty. I probably harvested them a moment ago. Oh, we had cattails closer anyway. Oh, well. Now we'll have more. Several more. So, I'm just going to... I'm just going to plant these here. Basically fill up the entire little sandy beach with cattails. Uh, I should probably be uh, harvesting that grass with uh, a knife. Because we're also going to need some dry grass. So if you're wondering why it's already so late in the day here, uh, I did run around in this world a little bit just to check it out. I was hunting through seeds just to find one that had a cool place that didn't require you know, a trek halfway across the globe. And this seemed like a pretty good spot. I'm going to pick up a bit more flint while I'm over here. So I was in this world for about three minutes before actually playing. Um, so had a little bit of time pass. Maybe uh, cut down a bit on my day one time to get myself settled, but that's okay. Had myself some berries, so I'm doing all right. This hilly terrain, though, is kind of worrying. Uh, I'm probably going to want to clear a lot of this out. Mainly because while there's no trees, so I'm not super worried about wolves or hopefully not bears. That would suck if they lived on my doorstep. I'm mainly not wanting to run into those, but also any pits. Because I'm... I'm notorious for falling down pits if I don't see them. Although I suppose anybody would be if they don't see the pit coming. And with all those bushes, it's got a lot of obscurity here. Oh, see? Well, that's... yeah. Oh, yeah, like one of these. That's, uh... That, is that two pits? Oh my god. There's two tunnels. I think I caught the tail end of something crawling around down there. We're going to explore those far later. <laughs> Not right now. Got cranberry bushes. We, we got a hole in the ground. Good. And this little... Oh, yeah, blue clay. We're going to need some of that. This is one of the features that I really liked when I was looking at the seed. So here we've got this nice mountain range. And a cool little lagoon down in the bottom. I don't know how deep it is. I just saw it from afar. But it's... I just think it's a cool place to start building. So we're probably going to have our little uh, starting hut. Maybe close to here. We might just sleep out under the stars. Although drifters are going to be coming out at night. So I probably... I should probably get myself a bit of shelter. Get some walls up before it's too dark. Just clear out this grass so we don't lose out on it. When I start digging up a little bit of dirt here and there. I'm going to want to cut down a couple trees, I think. Which I probably should have done over back where there were trees. Oh boy. We need firewood. I should really be watching for holes, but I'm not... This is not a permadeath series, so uh, I may die several times in progressively silly ways. Are you never eaten cranberries while swimming before? Perfectly normal. I'm going to want a raft. Ooh, we got some mature flax. You know what? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to grab some of that. Ooh, there's new textures for them. I forgot about that. Uh, that's almost grown. I'm gonna check on that after we get some trees chopped down. 
but wait, there's more. No, no, okay, this is spelled. And none of it's quite done yet. I'll give that a little bit, just to guarantee getting some seeds. I like these new 3D seed models. Oh man, these new animations. I need to get a torch soon, because it's getting a little dark, and uh, with YouTube compression, it's not going to be easy to see. There we go. Get ourselves a little bit of wood. And... Yeah, we have three pine seeds. Okay. So trees are 100% going to be quite sustainable. Uh, we've got ourselves a little bit of stick, a little bit of wood. Uh, I'm going to, against my better judgment, try and get back there before nightfall. Because I want to build a campfire closer to where I found that blue clay deposit. Just near the little water bit in there. Because I might as well do some clay forming since I can't sleep through the night. And there's not much point just sitting there getting hungry. I should do something productive with my time. Because God knows there's a lot that we're going to have to get done. Last thing I want is to fall down a pit when it's dark and I'm scared and then I'll get hit. Uh, then we're gonna want a fire starter. Let's get some light going here. Ah. Uh, there we go. I hear a... Uh, it's right there. We have a rift right there. Well, that's not good. That's that's quite the opposite of good, in fact. That's that's bad. Uh oh. Already. Oh jeez. Oh I done goofed. Okay, okay. Plan B. Okay. Seems a little quieter out here. No grumbles? No grumbles. Okay. Alright. The initial camp spot has been compromised. You sons of I may have made a terrible miscalculation. I should have built shelter. I need a hut. I'm living on the run in the darkness now. All right, we're heading back to our original fire. We're gonna... Ah, no. This is gonna be my first death. They're going to kill me before I can even get into a little dirt home. I done diddly goofed. All I can do is... Oh, oh no! Well, this sucks. Uh, this is not how I wanted to go. My ankles are broken. And a man just killed me with a rock. So, clearly nothing went according to plan there. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try again. Nope, nope, nope. So this place is not safe in the slightest. I'm just gonna see if uh, there's a little safe spot in this cave. That maybe I can start a little fire, get a little bit of light. I, uh,. Can't build a shelter because I used up most of my dirt. Hey, there's tin here. That's cool. Um, OK, 
Okay. Maybe I can make myself a little piece of dry land. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Okay. This is my home. Two pieces of of ground. Oh, I have a couple low fertility soil. All right. There we go. This is the first time. I, I swear. I swear this never happens. As the uh, the dawn is breaking over there, I think uh, it's no, it's only two in the morning. Well, we're gonna get ourselves a torch and use these torch holders um, just to get a little bit of permanent light here. Uh, I'll probably make a couple extras. There we go. So we've got a little bit of safety. Um, not a place that I would like to be. The current rift activity, of course, very high. Wonderful for a first day. And I honestly, there is a setting where you can put the game to a mode where monsters don't spawn for the first 10 days. Probably would have been a good idea. Probably would have been a good idea. Instead, I'm sitting here on my makeshift island, sad, hungry, and having died twice trying to get my stuff back from that little pit and using all my dirt, except for what you see here, to uh, pillar my way back up before I was killed. At least there's tin, right? At least there's tin. That'll be useful in 10 to 12 hours from now. Yay. Current rift activity is now calm, so I'm going to take this opportunity to uh, leave my little home, swim on over, realize that this is a very steep <laughs> re-entry onto dry land, make ourselves a little staircase back up onto dry, and hopefully for the moment safe land. Alright. A nice early 4.30 a.m. start to day two. Let's clean up this little mess that was made, reclaim some of our dirt to get ourselves in a situation where that won't happen again. At least not right away. You know what? There's bad memories associated with this spot now, so we're just going to leave that campfire as a reminder of our first terrible night. There is a hot spring just over yonder, and that might be a decent spot, but I'm saving this for, of course, building some form of boiler room. So, not going to use that yet. Here, though, nice little divot. This could be a decent footprint for kind of a sunken in little earthen hut. And there's blue clay right outside our front door, so... Let's clean this up a little bit. A little bit more dirt just to finish off the rest of the house here. Probably a roof would be a good idea. That's right, we're going classic dirt hut mode here. All right, we've got ourselves a little dirt hut now. It's not anything to write home about, but it's cozy. It'll keep us dry. And uh, once I get a door on there, it'll keep us safe after we light it up. I'm probably actually going to go relocate those torch holders. Let's put one over here and one over here. And day one, we have ourselves... 
already two permanent light sources, which is fantastic. Well, no, okay, day two, technically, it's 8.30 in the morning. Day two, and we've already got two permanent light sources. Can't be too mad at that, even if last night was a, uh... You know, it was a challenge. That's it. We're just... We're just gonna overcome some challenges here. And that's okay. I'm also going to make... Myself, uh, I don't have enough wood for beds yet, so we're just gonna we're just gonna put those there as a reminder to make a bed. I thought you were a drifter, a mean little bunny, and I don't like it. There we go. We got some berries. A little bit of food in our system. We are going to have to start looking out for a bit more food. Because once we start doing some clay forming, that's going to take a hit to our satiation for sure. Alright. We got plenty of pools here of hopefully fresh water. That water is, judging by the size of it, very likely going to be salt water or seawater. Which we won't be able to use to irrigate any crops. So hopefully these little pools inland here are going to be fresh water. I forgot that I was holding my torch. Try to scroll away. Doesn't matter when it's in your offhand. Let's go get some wood. Make ourselves some things that we need. I really need to make a raft. Now I know it's usually better to break all of the leaves, but I'm just going to see how many uh, seeds and sticks I get from this one tree with, uh, with the leaf mod on. Not the leaf mod. Seed mod. That's it. That's the words. Okay, so we had three pine cones before. We got two from that. I oh, got a few sticks. It's not terrible. Could be better. Maybe I should break them. Get myself a good old supply of sticks because even into the end game, sticks are... Well, sticks are a constant. You pretty much always need sticks. I don't think there ever really comes a time where sticks stop being useful. While I'm out here, let's make ourselves a little door. So that way, when we get home, we can just slap that right on there immediately. Oh! Yeah, that was almost another death down a hole. Let's uh, let's try to never do that again. Uh, that's a very tall tree. I don't want to cut that down yet. I don't have ladders, and I can't check if there's going to be resin up top. Let's just not play around the big hole. It's a dangerous time. Let's go far from the hole into the swamp lands here. It's a very swampy area. What do we got? We got some more flint. That's always useful. Conglomerate stones. Those will be useful later when we need an abundance of cobble. But for the moment, I think I'm okay. Mainly, just kind of want some sticks. Which I guess I can just get from here. There we go. Let's go check out this tree here. See if we've got any pine. Ah, we've got some resin. Oh, okay. I'm not going to need this right this moment, but at the very least, uh, I'm going to mark this. That's just all conglomerate. Well, no way. Just, just coming out of the side. No, 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 no. Hold up. Did that generate coming through the wall? I don't jump backwards. Flashbacks of the hole. Is that? 
Guys, are you seeing this? Are you serious right now? No. <laughs> I... I'm speechless. Okay. Where is this? Okay, well, there's the mountain. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. No. Okay, so... I don't know what Sylvite is. But, uh... I've never come across Sylvite before. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. This is the first time I've ever come across Halite Rock. In-game. No way. So, Halite is the scientific name for salt. So, we just literally stumbled upon an exposed salt mine, basically. This is... You know what? Last night's terrible night makes up for for this, uh, in all honesty. Or vice versa. This makes up for everything that went on last night. Like, this... This, honestly... I don't know why I'm holding this unlit torch, but this is an amazing start. I'm gonna look up what Sylvite is. What is Sylvite? Uh, potash. Okay. So that can be good for potassium. That could be good. That could be pretty good. All right. And so with salt, we're going to be able to cure meat, um, pickle vegetables. We're going to just get a lot more longevity out of food. So this is, this is setting us up for being, you know, the pickle kings. Okay. Okay, we got some little... Is that, is that Splethem? Or Spellum? I don't know. Any geologists out there, please don't... Uh, please don't decapitate me for not knowing. I can't remember what those are called. Splenum or something? It starts with an S. It's the things that turn into stalagmites and stalactites, right? Okay. Well, after that... It's just right there. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just that that's that's beautiful. When we get a pickaxe, we're coming back and we're going to have salt for the rest of our lives. I don't think we're ever going to run through that. Where on this tree could another resin be? I don't want to accidentally cut it down and lose any of that, but I've got that marked as a resin tree. We'll come back when we've got some ladders and such. Uh, I think... We might want some more inventory space. Um, so let's just get rid of spider webs. Birch seeds. We're not going to need those birch seeds right now. Gonna grab ourselves a few more cattails. Gonna make a gonna make a basket. Not like the little hand baskets we've got, but like a little reed chest. After my snack. Gave a couple more tails of the cats. A cat tail. Oh, really? Build a raft when, uh, when I'm good and ready. I got 11 pine seeds, so I'm going to start planting some pine trees over here. Now, I'd much rather cut down trees on this side of the water, because over there where trees are naturally growing, that means that could potentially be wolf territory. Um... Especially over there in the uh, little gravel desert. But if I were to plant trees over here where they aren't growing naturally, it shouldn't show up as a forest. Over there is, by the looks of it, an exceedingly dense forest. But over here should be fairly safe, and planting trees shouldn't bring the doggos. So they won't eat my meat. And by my meat, I mean, like, my meat. Okay, now I just need to safely get back without falling into any more pits and... Ooh, flint. Okay, almost home. I should probably mark where home is.
I'm realizing now I've made it out of grass and dirt. There we go. And we're just gonna pop our door on there. Well, would you look at that? We got ourselves a nice little home. Safe, secure, not protected from the elements, but we don't have to worry about that till winter. We're just gonna carve these up here and make ourselves a little old bed. I didn't need wood for a bed. I'm a fool. There we go. Okay. How do we make a chest? Just in a circle. All right. I don't have enough. I don't like this little crevasse. I think terraforming is one of the first things we're going to have to do. Because this whole uh, danger lurking around every little hill... Why there, Pete? ...is not a safe thing to have to deal with on a daily basis. Now, if my math is correct, a circle of three cattails each is going to be 24 in total. So, I was close. Almost had enough. But now, we should be able to just slap these all around, and boom. Eight storage slot chest. Now, I'm going to collect a few more uh, reeds here and uh, spruce up the house a little bit by placing down like two or three chests. So, I'll get back to you then. You saw nothing. We're gonna need to put a neon sign on this thing. I'm going to die so many more times. You can see where the random dirt blocks were placed as I was panic pillaring back up. Oh. Oh, I hate pits. They're just the pits. <laughs> there we go. We got a little bit of decoration. We're cozying up. We were making it feel like home. I got myself a little bit of meat from a nondescript location. All right, I think this is about as good a stopping point as any. We've got ourselves a little dirt house, so at least we won't die again in a horrific fashion. We've made a little bit of uh, hay over here. We found a massive exposed salt pillar. That's going to be so handy going forward. But yeah, we can live, we can breathe, and soon we can build. Thank you everybody for watching. I will catch you in the next one. You know, back in the day, my my outro was always, I gotta go. And I don't remember why that started or what happened. I just remember I always had to go. I don't think it was a poop joke. But I wouldn't put it past myself. <laughs>